In phase one, we deployed and customized quick start policies, removed users from the administrators group, and started the process of discovering the admin rights that users require for their role. In phase two, we will be reviewing the process of maturing policy based on the events created by discovery. With quick start, whenever a user triggers an unexpected elevation with the discovery policies, layer four, they are prompted with a custom dialog box asking for feedback on the requirement, to which they can respond, option one, one-time use, option two, I need this for everyday tasks, or other, please specify. The user is then able to proceed, and the event and user feedback are captured for analysis. The focus during event reviewed should be those use cases where the user responded with option two, followed by the ones that the user has provided free text feedback. Option one, one-time use is the user telling you this is ad hoc activity that does not need to be added to policy and in future could fall under one-time approval processes. If you find excessive events where option one has been chosen, then this should be investigated to ensure the users understand the feedback options and that you don't have rogue or malicious processes triggering elevation without the user's knowledge. This workflow provides an overview of the typical steps involved in reviewing events prior to updating policy. One, is the user part of any groups that aligns them with a particular role? Two, when was the justification chosen and is this reasonable based on the application or task they attempted to elevate? Three, consult threat intelligence services to check the reputation of the application. Four, does the application adhere to acceptable use policies? After reviewing the events, you can choose to add the use case to an existing Layer 3 role-based access policy, create a new set of Layer 3 policies for a newly identified role, or update Layer 2 policies to prevent users from elevating the task or application in the future. This can be accomplished directly from Policy Audit, Events, and the application catalog using the three ellipses associated with the event. This process continues until the frequency of new use cases diminishes, and you can then move from open discovery policies to a more appropriate gating mechanism. Phase two is now complete, 